Okay, I'm going to talk about the accordion bass. We have two different types of bass on this specific accordion. The usual bass, the stradella bass, are the outer six rows, and the free bass are the inner six, uh, inner three rows. <clears throat> and if we just uh, listen, we see that the inner rows, the free bass, is rather easy to understand. There is one note for every button that I can press. The Stradella bass has a construction with lots of levers and uh, it forms, uh, it triggers bass notes in the free bass and it also triggers chords. And the bass note, if I take for example an F, we hear and we see that two notes in the free bass are triggered. This one, the low one, and the high one. <clears throat> so the bass notes in the Stradella bass actually have high notes sounding with them. And those notes are the notes in the chord octave. If I take the F major chord just, take a look at which buttons will fall in. Sorry. Then then it's those three buttons here which are fall in for the chord. And we see that this button was the same one or Actually, it wasn't, but uh, I had to change the settings on my accordion as the one we got when playing the F here. <clears throat> okay, so if we take a look at where the chord octave is, then we can just press down all buttons in our Stradella bass. And we see that we have here an area of 12 buttons that will come along with the Stradella chord buttons. And if I take just the bass buttons here and press those down, again, the area of 12 buttons in the chord octave will come down as well as 12 buttons here in the bass region. So if we now combine some chords like F major and A minor, which is for a major seventh chord, <clears throat> then we see that the inversion we get is an unfortunate one because it has those notes in it and we'd rather want those notes. Now one thing to note is that usually when you're playing you're not just using a single note uh, per button but two notes is, is or three notes even is rather typical and then the accord uh, the, the chord uh, relations get muddier, so it, this sounds then like and because it's in several octaves it's not that obvious anymore that we have this, this unfortunate minor second in there. On this accordion I can actually change the chord octave and uh, that's what I set out with when I did the recording and then we 
we hear that now the combination that is played is the one that we wanted to. <clears throat> yeah, that's basically the idea behind the Stradella bass and the free bass and a bit of uh, demonstration of the novelty of this accordion. It's not that novel actually since it was built in 1960 by Marino, the famous accordion builder, but uh, yeah, it's nevertheless an interesting construction. <clears throat> 